Hello, Georgia551 here, and usually I don't use my phone to do videos, but I'm using my computer to charge this, so while I have it docked up charging, I might as well pull this video off. It makes sense, right? Anyway, you might have seen a previous video, Live Candle Pin Bowling from New Palace Lane, Fitchburg, Mass. And while I was there, if you saw it on the video, I got a souvenir from the place, and my friend who owns the place, Dave Madela, let me have one of these. That's right. It's an actual candle pin. Now, before any of you who go to New Palace Lanes or knows Dave decides, okay, I'm just going to go ask him if I can have one. This is one of two retired pins he had sitting in the main lobby. And I told him I've never actually seen a actual candle pin, <clears throat> pardon me, an actual candle pin up close before. And so he said, do you want to take one of them with you? And I said, why not? Sure. So there were two. There was this one, which the red line is more beat up on. And there was another one where the red line was a lot more intact, looked a little more... Uh, it looked a little better overall, but the end cap on one side was busted, and that kind of ruined any functionality. Not that I'm going to use this in actual homemade bowling or anything, but, you know, if I want to stand it on end, I can do that on both sides. So it's a worn-out pin, and no, he's not giving these out to anyone who demands one or would like one. At last check, there was still that one with the busted end cap. So here it is, up close and personal. It is 15 and 3 quarters inches from end to end, and 1 16th of an inch short of 3 inches in diameter, right there. And of course they have the red pin in the middle, I mean stripe in the middle, and it's really hard to see and the phone's light is on, which I don't mind because this place is a little dark. There is actually a slight indent for the center in which the red line is put on. So here's the, okay, we're over brightening. There you go. There's the end cap. As you can tell, these are very well used. If we look at it from the tip, you can see that it's a bit uneven. It's been through quite a few bowling matches. There's another end right there. I don't know why my phone thinks it needs the light, but it's not really that dark in here, and it's having trouble focusing on that. So, I have a souvenir from New Palace Lanes in Fitchburg, and like I said, at this time, there's only one more pin there. So, these are rare to come by. He only sets aside those that are no longer fit for the game. And that's my souvenir, and i like to once again thank Dave Madeloff for letting me have it. Georgia551 saying hope you enjoyed and have a good one. And now to charge the phone.